We're here in Piazza San Giovanni, which is the religious square of Volterra. Uh, it holds a baptistry, which is the building uh, behind me. The baptistry of Volterra was built in 1285. It was built in the Pisan Romanesque style, which is the same style uh, used for the Pisa baptistry as well, uh, which was constructed in 1153. Other baptistries in Tuscany will often have this bichrome striping and, and similar styles. It's essential to have a baptistry if you have a cathedral, because wherever you have a seat of a diocese, one bishop, one cathedral, one baptistry. Because in this period, it was very important for their religious beliefs that you enter the cathedral as a Christian. That's the need for a separate building. But also remember that, that Christianity hadn't really been established throughout Europe as the common religion for that many centuries. And so it was all the more important to, to give something monumental for those who were entering into the Christian faith to make it a ceremonious occasion with such a magnificent building. Now the baptistry here in Voltaire is octagonal. Almost all baptistries are octagonal, although some are circular. And this too has significance because both the circle and the figure eight are endless figures. They have no beginning or end point, symbols of the infinity and thus of the eternal life gained through baptism in the Christian faith. Now, the, the fact that we have in this religious square four buildings that marked four important moments in the life of a Christian was no coincidence. Now, in Volterra, like any other Italian town, wherever you have a seat of a diocese, you have cathedral, baptistry, hospital, and cemetery. Now, we no longer have a functioning hospital here, in the, but it moved out in the 1980s. Larger buildings outside of town. And also the cemetery is long gone because they realized that the new Christian practice of burying the dead inside the city walls was not the hottest idea, especially when plague would hit and contagion would spread like wildfire. But originally, these four buildings signified the cycle of life. Birth with the baptistry, life in the cathedral, difficulty and need in the hospital, and of course death in the cemetery. Well, that's to remind man of his vanitas, of his vanity. Or more precisely what they mean is, what are you left with in the end? Because there is an end, because this is the natural cycle of life. In the end, you have bones, you have a soul, but you don't have your possessions, you don't have your appearance, you don't have the power you've been trying to amass. All of those will be in vain, vanitas. And so the corollary, is of course, and what they're after is, care for your soul during your lifetime because that's what will be of importance in the end. But the conundrum is, artistically, how do you represent the soul? No one has ever come up with a commonly recognized way of representing the human soul. And so what they often will do is show us bones instead because that's the other thing you're left with. So an example of this, you can actually see on the facade of the uh, little chapel of the Misericordia where you have a skull and V-shaped wings. They show you the bones to remind you man care for your soul. And the wings, they're in the shape of a V to represent the V of vanity, of vanitas. The Misericordia is the Volunteer Ambulance Association. They're volunteers. Uh, the full name is actually Arci Confraternita della Misericordia. So it's a fraternity of compassion. That's a very old-fashioned name, um, but understandable considering the, the association first appeared in Tuscany in 1348. That's a year Tuscans will never forget because that's when the Black Death or the bubonic plague ravaged the area, when between five months, May to October, in one year, between a half to two thirds of the people you knew died. Well, the Misericordia are the courageous men, most of them the delivery men of the towns, who volunteered to move the sick and dead outside the city walls, otherwise they feared everyone might die. Well, it's been around ever since, and it's an association that's actually still unique just to Tuscany.